and uh, we are now looking forward to the Wellington uh, Cup. I couldn't quite hear what you were saying there, but I gathered you were t uh, crossing to us for our build-up to the Wellington Cup, and very shortly we'll be looking at the Telford's Handicap, which of course was race five on the card. Well, the favourite in that event uh, was Tregenna, ridden by Noel Harris, and uh, he was looking to make it uh, two successive wins. He looked to be hitting form at just about the right time. Let's go to a final stage post Wellington Cup, a race over 3,200 metres, and on the track uh, as it is today, it's going to be a test for uh, both horse and jockey. Let's look at the field that will line up in this year's event. It's headed by number one, which is a secured deposit. Number two in the race is Fountain Court. Three is Manchu. Number four is Our Boyfriend. Five is Otakeri Maid. Six is Castaneta. Seven is Mr. Duffy. Number eight is Beaver Boy. Nine is I'm a Prince. Ten is Porky. 11 is Kotari Chief, number 12 is Shah Golvin. 13 is Terra Nora, 14 is Aptitude, 15 is Belfi, 17 is Ruanuku, number 18 is Tranquil Sea, number 19 is Dwanetti's Girl. So the field is a very, very even one, and obviously in light of the conditions, I'm a Prince has come right into contention now and is certainly well supported on the totalisator. Between them, number six Wellington Cup wins. I'd like to introduce you to Bert Ellis. We spoke to Bert last year, one of our very popular television subjects last year. Bert, yeah, good to have yeah. you back. Yeah. What do, what do you reckon this year? Oh, I don't know. I've I, sort of got it really, I think it's very wide open. What do you reckon? I like Kateri Chief. Kateri Chief. Why do you like Kateri Chief? Uh, I like the look of it. He won second in the Auckland Cup, you know. So you got a bit of form there. What about the track conditions, sir, uh, Bert? You've ridden on this track often enough. But it's, it's, it'll be good now. It was cutting up in the first race, but it's, it's dried out now. Billy Broughton, you rode three Wellington Cup winners. Trentham is always a hard track to uh, to ride on, and Wellington Cup's always hard to win. Oh, the Wellington Cup's are hard to win, but the Wellington race course is a good course to ride on. <laughs> Billy, what do you like in today's big race? Uh, I, I like the runner-up on the Auckland Cup. I think she just got a little bit held up at the right time in Auckland. So you're going Katari Chief as well? Yes. Now this is interesting. Well, the third gentleman of our threesome is, B is Bill Skelton. Bill, you won uh, on Lufar and uh, not riding in this year's race, but who do you like? Well, the way the track conditions are, I'm a prince. I'm stuck out for secure deposit, but uh, if he can handle it, he'll still win. Riding at Trentham, obviously, uh, is, is, is pretty difficult, and especially winning a Wellington Cup. Um, what do you remember about those old days, Bert? Uh, were the races pretty uh, pretty difficult, hard to win? Uh, yeah, when I won in 35, I got $32 winning, winning fee. 16 pounds I got, and that's all. Now, that horse, if I recall correctly, carried something like nine, nine. stone nine, was it? Nine stone nine. Well, that must have been one of the uh, the highest weights ever carried. Uh, ever. Uh, it's the highest weight since 1903. A horse called Advance carried nine stone ten, I think. Now, you're making a regular pilgrimage to uh, Wellington. Uh, how many years have you been coming here since uh, you retired? Every year. Every year since 43. You're a marvellous man, and uh, we always look forward to seeing you. And thank you for joining us again with our, in our Wellington Cup build-up. Right. I hope, I, hope I've tipped another winner. Well, I'm sure you had. You did it last year, so I think you can do it again. Billy Broughton, Katari Chief, uh, you're a little more involved in that world of lawn bowls these days. Uh, I didn't think you got too much time for the races. Oh, well, I've got to come, come along now and again make some money. You know, you know what it's like, Phil. <laughs> so Katari Chief is, the, is your choice. Uh, an outsider that you think might get up? Anything else? Uh, no, not really. I just like uh, that one. And Billy Skelton, thank you for joining us, Bill. Uh, obviously, uh, you'll be disappointed about not riding in the Wellington Cup this year. No horse really came up that was suitable for you? No horse today come up. <laughs> so, uh, but when you get old, Phil, nobody wants you. You'll Is find that out one day. <laughs> <laughs> Billy Skelton, always as bright as ever. Thank you, gentlemen, for joining us in our Wellington Cup build-up. Bill Broughton and Bill Skelton, two of the uh, most uh, popular jockeys here today, along with uh, Mr. Bert Alice. Well, it can't be all that uh, long before uh, we have a start in the uh, Wellington Cup. So the totalizator has closed and they are set to go.
Race being started by Mr. Harry Gill, and they're off now. And Porky made a very good, uh, Fountain Court made a good beginning, and on the journey, our boyfriend trying to get to his usual role in front, and Castanet has gone up pretty well as well. They're followed out by Secured Deposit and Manchu, and getting up on the inside of the slot then was Aptitude. Now getting back in the early part of the race is Tranquil C, and getting back Shah Golvin as well, and also Ruanuku's in the last two or three. But settling down, and our boyfriend has managed to get over towards the rail. He's going to be the early leader, followed out by Fountain Court. Secured Deposit getting up handy, but he's a bit wide of the early part is followed then by Belfi through on the inside of them then is Beaver Boy now the last one is Ruanuku Otakiri made getting well back and so is I'm a Prince and Porky's in the last three or four 2,400 metres just over to go and our boyfriend is the leader leads the cup field now by a length from Fountain Court followed by Belfi the inside then secured deposit in a good spot followed by Beaver Boy the inside and one between the two is Terranora two lengths away to Aptitude is followed by Kotari Chief then Mr Duffy back on the inside to Porky out wide as Tranquil C there followed then by Castaneda, Manchu and that group with I'm a Prince securely locked away on the inside. One Eddie's girl about three off the painter's next is followed then by Shah Golden and Otakiri made. And last of all in the cup is Ruanuku. A swinging pace only now with our boyfriend, the leader from Fountain Court, lying third and getting a dream run is Belfi. Secured deposits fourth and one out is followed back on the fence in the black in the black and white by Terranora. Aptitude is next and three wide around these is Tranquil C is followed by Beaver Boy. Mr. Duthi, Kotari, Chief and Castaneda. Joan Eddy's girl's been a wee bit deep on the track is followed by Manchu and Porky I'm a Prince and Shah Golvin and Ruanuku and last Otakiri made and she's about 18 lengths from the leader they pass the 1600 in the cup and our boyfriend the leader two lengths over Fountain Court Belfi couldn't wish for a better run it's on the fence and third place is on the outside of its secured deposit a length away 1400 to go is Terranora with Tranquil C on the outside of him between the two aptitude they're followed then back on the inside by Porky and Beaver Boy in that group they were followed then by Mr. Duthie and one parked on the outside of them. One Eddie's girl is followed then by Ruanuku. Getting back now is Otakiri made. I'm a prince in the last two or three. And back there with it is Shah Sha Golden and just in front of the one just in front of those. They race around a thousand left to go. And our boyfriend is the leader. One length from Belfi. Secured deposit. Bowling along in third place is followed by Fountain Court. Then Aptitude Tranquil C. Terranora Porky. One Eddie's girl is next. is followed by Beaver Boy. Then Mr. Duthie. Kotari Chief. Well followed then by Porky and Otakiri made. Two lengths to Ruanuku, the favourite. Uh, I'm a Prince's last and back there with it, Shah Golvin and Castaneda. They race across just on 600 to go in the cup. It's our boyfriend secured deposit. Belfi's flat now. They were followed then by Fountain Court. Porky drifting on the inside, making their runs. Aptitude, one Eddie's girl and Frank will see. On the corner, they swing pretty wide to get some better ground. And our boyfriend about to be tackled on the outside by secured deposit, which went to the lead. They're followed then by one Eddie's girl, unwinding strongly down the outside. Is followed further out by Kotari Chief, then Manchu and Shah Golvin. It's secured deposit. Then one Eddie's girl leveling up on the outside. 200 to Go. She's hit the front. One Eddie's girl is. I'm a prince unwinding with a brilliant late run. And it's one Eddie's girl. I'm a prince is grabbing it. Secure deposit. Badly hard the inside. I'm a prince. Secure deposit. I'm a prince has won the cup. Secure deposit. One Eddie's girl. Otakiri made. Kotari chief. Our boyfriend Terranora. Fountain court. Belfi aptitude. Char Golden. Porky Manchu. Castaneda. Beaver boy. Mr. Duffy Ruanuku. And last home is Tranquil C. Well, the crowd is alive here at Trentham as the favourite, number nine, I'm a Prince, gets up to win the Wellington Cup in grand style. What a finish it was, a brilliant effort too. And I'm a Prince has beaten the top weight who was honest as ever in second place with Dwanette's girl getting the third money. I'm a Prince and Philip Mercer successful in the 1985 Wellington Cup. Final stages of the race now, let's have a look at it and you will see that the action came from the outer part of the track. As they made their way round it was a secured deposit who was about to challenge our boyfriend who'd been the pacemaker for most of the journey. The horses down on the inside were a beaten lot, they are in the stickier going, they couldn't make any progress. Secured deposit comes up on the outside of our boyfriend now and uh, you will see Dwanette's girl making her run. Now just in behind and making his run now, Philip Mercer and giving I'm a Prince a reminder of what the job's about. And he makes his big run down the outside and uh, has got up to win it and win it going away. A very convincing win in the Wellington Cup of 1985 for I'm a Prince and Philip Mercer. 
Secure deposit will get the second money. Great effort by him. And Dwanet's girl will fill the third position in the Wellington Cup. Mick Preston, you've trained a Wellington Cup winner. What does it feel like? Terrific. Terrific, that's all. You had a smile on your face earlier today when I saw you walking around the course. <laughs> Were you confident? Oh, I've always been pretty confident. The only thing that worried me was if we got enough rain, and I'm, we did. Uh, as far as Phillips' ride, no complaints? No you complaints couldn't complain, You couldn't complain at all of that. He did the job right. Uh, Mick, he's, uh, he's a horse that obviously has always had that ability, but has he just taken that little bit of time to show it? Well, no, well, I think he has possibly in some respects, but I think he's needed the run a lot of times. He's got bad runs in a lot of his races. Yeah, he gets the way back, and that's the thing. Mick, uh, I'm sure you'd like to enjoy the Wellington Cup. Congratulations. There we are, as number nine, I'm a Prince, returns to scale, the head of the field. So here we have a new Wellington Cup winner. Number nine, I'm a Prince, puts his name alongside some of the greats of recent years. And as we watch this horse, we will bring you the official placings and dividends in just a moment. In the Wellington Cup, 3.22.27 was the time for the 3,200 metre journey and the winning dividends are just uh, being posted. So the winner has paid $6.50 and $2.70, I'm a prince, $6.50, For second, number one secured deposit, $3.30, and for third, number 19, Dwinette's Girl, at $4.10. $4.10. dollars $3.30. $4.10. $4 the trifecta was uh, $471 and change. The Quinella was $37.95. $37.95. The winner won by one and a half lengths. And it was a very good effort by Ima Prince to get up, coming from, I think, third last at about the 600 meter mark and uh, taking on the front-running secured deposit and then uh, holding on to win. Good effort indeed. Well, there we are. That's the coverage of the race. The next on the card is the...